Hey, what's going on guys? Come on, Keynes here. Um, today I had a very interesting video call with Roland Friggen, who is um, the author, the maintainer, the leader of Titan's Battalion project. So, in this video, I wanted to introduce this very not easy to understand concept, but quite interesting one in terms of. Uh, from the technical perspective, basically. So, um, you know, like in order to answer what the Titans Battalion is, Roland, Roland himself made a whole lot of video, and I believe still not really many people do understand what exactly that is and how that works, because you really need to dive in there in order to uh, figure figure out how it works and what is that in particular. But um, hopefully, I uh, would be able to explain this in more or less simple words uh, because uh, well um, I don't say that we actually did a deal on working together in this project or something uh, we did deal to try working together in this project because I have some ideas uh, he has some requisites and it's really hard to say at this point whether they would meet or not so uh, we need just to try basically and then then time shows but anyway uh the project itself is incredibly <coughs> <I'm> sorry <coughs> is incredibly interesting and definitely worth knowing about so imagine a chess variant so what is titans uh, what is titans battalion imagine a chess variant where all the possible uh, chess variants are allowed and possible so, for instance, you can play um, medieval chess set versus uh, Chinese and Korean Xianqi and Zhangi piece sets in the one game. That's just one of the examples. And there is a whole lot of setups. And here, uh, uh, some of the guy from the team has developed this fantastic app where you can set up a custom uh custom board so let's go for board 10 by 10 for instance and here you have the white piece sets and the black piece sets right so for instance we go for medieval for whites and here this is the board edge so uh, board uh, doesn't obviously have to be 100% symmetric here in this game so it might be shifted like this for instance and on the other hand uh, we can, yeah, let's go for this for palace one. On the other hand, it's a little bit, let's go with like this for instance. Yeah, since uh, it uses one, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? So yeah, nine and here it's only, it's only eight. So in this sort of a game, uh, we can play like uh, Western chess versus Chinese chess. I'm not yet 100% sure about the rules, there is a whole lot of documentation uh, describing uh, how to play the game and it's not it's not fixed yet so it's about to be, um, it's changing and one of the major issues is balancing because uh, out of the box it might not be that great idea to play like this because some pieces might be stronger than the other, like one army can be much stronger than the other for, for instance. But anyway, um, uh, yeah, it's still I'm still pretty new to this. Uh, to this still really need to uh, figure out how it works. And uh, but uh, but anyway, uh, it doesn't have any peculiar rule sets here. So just to give you an idea how to play this, uh, for instance, and yeah, it might not be really uh, handy to use this Chinese characters. Well, for me it is, but maybe not for most of people. So. Uh, I'm not sure whether these are the duplicates, so this this should be a cannon, for instance, and so on. So uh, I believe that the custom uh, that the custom piece uh, pieces can be uh, can be used. All right. So I'm wondering if I yeah, <laughs> that's how I, how we can remove the piece. So for instance, uh, if I go like this, and uh, something like. I don't know, something like, um, like this. Uh, it's hard to imagine. It's, it's hard to imagine how the game goes. Uh, really, 
because like for instance black king can castle uh, because it's not allowed to and there is a whole lot of questions but uh, generally what my kind of goal is is trying to create an engine that would be supporting all possible piece types from from this set here and try to make it playing games like one army versus other army and meanwhile trying to uh, like tune the evaluation so that the game outcome would be around 50% uh, like win draw loss rate so like 50% uh, winning 50% losing like for this setup for instance, for instance and yeah so let's say for instance like like this and so on so uh, it might seem overwhelming uh, at a glance and again like this black this black uh, kind of pieces are the board, uh, board borders so that's also important they may may be like different setups and also um, here is a concept called battlefield uh, which goes somewhere here and it does affect the way how peace is moving within this area uh, uh, Roland has shown me how, how to make it not with the circles but to make it blue somehow I'm not sure at the moment how that can be done maybe like uh, like this maybe nope probably uh, I'm not sure if this is if this is the case basically but anyway yeah, so still, <coughs> still have lots of questions, but yeah, I would rather just show some some different setups. So let's reinitialize the board, and just just to show you all mm, all the sets. So let's say yeah, let's actually take let's make it twelve. So let's have this Chinese chess for one side, for instance, and let's take the shogi for opposite side so here for instance we have a game like playing with the Chinese chess versus uh, versus shogi pieces so this game is, is possible in this tit uh, Titans Battalion variant like for instance or for instance uh, if we go like um, let's take I don't know let's take or the chess for whites and Spartan chess for for black nope. Uh, nope yeah it is something horribly wrong so again or the chess for whites and Spartan chess for black like this for instance and we can play a game here as well so I'm not sure about uh, the board size so how far this uh, this sets may be one from uh, one apart from another how exactly so the, the the board the border should be yeah we can move the borders just well I believe the borders can be moved uh, during the game um, I'm not really sure how to so what is this yeah I'm not sure but anyway uh, so is it just a light score or what, what is this yeah but anyway um, this is quite challenging from the perspective of uh, actually creating an engine that would be handling all of this piece types uh, on a single board so I'm thinking about making a maximal board size and just adding all this all the piece types with their uh, relative move offsets and the rules and then actually trying to see how the engine uh, uh, how the games where the engine is playing with all those fairy pieces uh, as a part of different armies versus each other to see how, how exactly it's gonna look like so it would involve uh, lots of dynamic settings, but this might be potentially interesting. So yeah, um, 
I'll give you links in description below to the original uh, project to, to, Roland, to Roland's YouTube and to their Discord as well. Well, I'm not sure about the invitation link basically. I probably I can't. Uh, well, I can probably give you my invitation link and that probably would allow you to get there. And there is around 100 people uh, playing this variant and they, they are quite interesting community so yeah mm, definitely interesting people to talk to and by the way I had a fantastic uh, a fantastic talk with the developer of this app in particular so I didn't have it working at first but then he helped me <laughs> so the problem was I was I had a horribly outdated browser so once I reinstalled the browser it started working like a charm so yeah um, this this app is definitely worth of interest, and it it and it even allows somehow to play uh, like two people uh, play each other. It's not uh, fully automatic, but it's somehow possible to play uh, to play each other uh, in this in the setups. It, however, doesn't uh, uh, you, you like. Um, you need to know how the pieces are moving because otherwise it's not going to be working so that's one of the major things but the part of this this might be really interesting so yeah uh we'll see how the project goes this is from my side thanks for watching until the next time and take care